In this video, we are going to show two ArchViz modeling tricks in 3D Max. In this scene, we model a parametric ceiling and a curved element together. If you like this video, be sure to comment for us. Until we prepare more videos like this for you. Hi, welcome to MimViz. Look at this scene. A parametric ceiling and a curved object with high detail. Don't forget that details are very important to us. Let's model the parametric ceiling. We use the data channel for creating parametric form. The data channel modifier is a versatile tool for automating complex modeling operations. By piping mesh data through a series of controls, you can achieve a huge variety of effects that dynamically update as you make changes. Let's see how it works. I create a point from the helper section. And I put it in the center of the parametric ceiling. Now I select the data channel modifier. And from the operators section, I select the node influence and vertex output operators. In the vertex output operator settings, I set the axis to Z, and I set the method to add. Now I go to the node influence operator, and I add the point to it. Now, by changing the parameters of the range section, I can create the form I want. But there is a problem here. I don't want the elements to move in the z-axis. Rather, I want the origin coordinates of all of them to be the same in the z-axis. So I go to the operator section and set the comment space operator after the node influence operator. Make sure it is set to the z-axis. Now we can control its intensity from this section. And that's it. Now we have a parametric ceiling that we can easily change its settings. Now, let's model the curved object. We use the spacing tool to create an object with repeating parts. Here we have a special and unique shape. We have tiles of stone material. But creating regular stones with specific dimensions on this Kyrieve level is difficult. Even if I want to unwrap it, the size of the stone tiles may not be accurate. So, come and use it my way. I copy from the main form. I have a stone tile here with specific dimensions. I choose it. Now, I use spacing tool to repeat the stone tiles in the curved path. I go to the tools menu, and from the align section, I choose the spacing tool option. The hotkey is shift and I. Now, I choose the path in which the stone tiles should be repeated. To make sure that these tiles are placed correctly, I activate the follow option, but I want the stone tiles to fit together. So I rotate the main tile by 90 degrees. Now I can also specify the distance between them. I finally click on the apply button. I complete the object and do the final editing. Now my curved object is ready with tiles of exact dimensions. But the final form that I want has not been created yet. 
Now it's time to use the FFD modifier. FFD modifiers open your hand in creating different forms. Just select FFD modifiers and change the points to reach the desired form. You may need to use several different FFD modifiers to achieve the desired form. I use two FFD modifiers here. At the end, don't forget to use UVW map modifiers and use them according to the dimensions of your texture. If you're looking to create high quality renderings, you need to pay attention to detail. Here, you can see how the details can make the rendering more realistic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and support us with like and comment. Thank you for being with us. Bye until the next video.